What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this video I'm gonna talk a little bit about Unity 5 Engine. So I'm in no way quitting RPG Maker MV, don't take this the wrong way, but I've been messing around a lot with Unity Engine 5 uh, lately and uh, I think it's a really awesome engine and it's got a lot of potential and recently a few weeks ago Unity changed their terms of service so you don't have to do like the 30-day trial thing anymore. You could just download a free version of it and it has uh, some slight limitations in comparison to the paid version, but you still have pretty much the same thing. And with the asset store being as huge as it is, you can uh, really just make almost any kind of game you want. And the only limitation is when you've made over $100,000 in a fiscal, fiscal year. But I'm thinking if you're going to make $100,000 using an engine, you could afford to pay $35 a month for it. So um, if you guys are interested in uh, checking out other engines, uh, I recommend looking at Unity 5. It's got a huge uh, community. Lots of people make tutorials on it. And speaking of that, I was thinking, I was wondering if you guys would like to see uh, some tutorials for Unity 5 on this channel. Um, I've only been using it for a few weeks. I used it uh, a year ago or so, but I only had a 30-day trial, and so I didn't get very far with it. But uh, what you're seeing here is a little markup of like a, a start menu. And you can see we've got like this particle effect going on. And basically, I just followed a tutorial on how to do this, and I changed everything all about it. Changed a little bit of the code, changed uh, the particle effect, changed all of the resources out. Um, so it's pretty much uh, has no functionality right now. It's just basically like a template or a prototype, um, but kind of like what it would like, what it would look like if uh, I got it running, you know. Kind of, uh, kind of cool looking. I like how the particle effects uh, so easy to use particles. I wish MV has a better way to do. Uh, I wish it had a real particle engine besides just you know s uh, spamming PNGs. Uh, I would really like to see that in, in Pixie. I know Pixie has uh, a particle engine, but it's not incorporated in MV. But anyway, I'm digressing. Um, it's really easy to get Unity Engine. Um, it's since it's been free, it's been uh, licensed. For, you can license it for free now. All you have to do is put in your name and an email address. Um, this little map I made right here, but I'm still trying to figure out uh, how to get the camera and the controls to not feel so jank. I want to get like stri strafing instead of turning. But anyway, um, let me show you guys how to get this. You're just going to go to. I'll put a link in the description below. You're going to go to store.unity.com and you can see you have all these packages and plans here. But you can just click on download now on the personal uh, edition or go to the bottom. You can see everything it does and click on download now. Put in your name and your email and you'll get an account with Unity and that's how you what you use to like log on with it. It's free to use now which is awesome. Uh, so I recommend checking it out. Lots of good games were made with it. Kerbal Space Program, Ori in the Blind Forest. Super hot. Um, what was the other? Hearthstone was made in Unity. Lots of uh, lots of really good games were made in Unity, and um, I definitely recommend checking it out. So um, one thing I will give you a quick tutorial on is uh, it's not really a tutorial. It's just like some advice. When you first get it started up, you want to um, uh, not get overwhelmed. Like it's a lot to take in at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. It's very very easy engine to use. Um, but there's just a lot to it, right? So it's a lot of easy things that you have to tackle one thing at a time. You'll have to learn a little bit of scripting, but I mean, it's very, very basic. Um, you, either, you can use JavaScript or you can use C Sharp. And, and I do both, but mainly I've been doing C Sharp mostly in, in Unity um, just because watching some live streams, they're always giving tutorials for C Sharp. And so I was like, well, I better just start learning C Sharp. But anyway, what you want to do is you'll see you have this, this little scene menu and it'll look different on yours, but you're going to go over to Asset Store and then you want to go, it'll, it'll look like this or something like that. But click right here on Unity Essentials. And then if you want to look through all of the assets, but you only want to see the free ones, you can click on free. And then you're going to click on uni uh, Standard Assets and right here, it'll say download. So just download the free assets. They're really, really good tools. Um, they give you prefabs. And what a prefab is, it's like something that somebody built that you can just drag and drop into your game to like manipulate. 
and uh, and learn how it functions, take it apart and reverse engineer it, and then you know change it up and make it your own sort of thing. But download that, click import, it'll do a little a little loading thing, and then it'll have a bunch of of stuff that it's adding. And just click on import, and then um, when, once you've got that imported, you could just go file save scene, file save project, and then that's a good starting base. And then you can kind of uh, drag stuff into the panel and start editing stuff from there. But yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy uh, hearing about Unity Engine or if you're happy that Unity 5 is, is coming out free, let me know in the comments below. Uh, give this video a like if you want me to make more tutorials or uh, make tutorials on Unity 5 Engine. I'm looking forward to using it more uh, in the coming year. And uh, yeah, so look forward to seeing some, some videos, but let me know what, what you guys would like to see uh, in particular. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out driftwoodgaming.com if you want to get hooked up with more people uh, in the game dev scene. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.